in this lesson um, we are going to add some navigation okay add some navigation up here okay so um, this is a UI navigation controller and this is what we are going to be implementing and this is what it looks like so we start with um, uh, a navigation item right here and in that we have uh, left and right and then we'll have title okay so I have left bar item right bar item and title so we now choose one of our view controllers as our root view controller and the contents from that will then be displayed in our UI window and device and everything flows backwards this way okay so let's have a look and see how how it all works so if I go, I can say self navigation item. I could tap this and get the instance of navigation item, and I'll refer to that instance as nav. I call a few methods on nav. Uh, set the title to main, and then there's a left bar button item. So this expects uh, a UI bar button. So I'm going to create a method called create bar button so this will accept uh, a default system item called save so this gives us just a save um, icon and when we click on it I want it to open up a method uh, or call a method called left button all right so I'm going to repeat the same for our right bar button item so navigation dot right bar button item and we can paste this here and UI bar button system item just change save uh, to something like add so just say add all right and when we click on this we want it to call a, a method called right button all right so now that we've done that I can end our block there all right so I'm going to uh, create this method uh, create bar button method so this accepts two parameters so the first one is just the item that we want to display okay and the second is the action to perform when you click on it so let's go ahead and create our UI bar button item um, allocate initialize with and as initialize with bar button system item all right so we say the item uh, the target would be self and the action would be whatever action we give into it so left button or right button etc so we end this and uh, now that we've done that we can okay so we can uh, go ahead and rake actually it's not quite done yet is it so we have uh, left button method doesn't exist yet so I'm just going to quickly make that so the left button when we click on it I, I simply wanted to say left button clicked and we could do the same with the right button so at some point I will add um, a method here to add another controller so for, but for now we just say print this message and rake and let's see what happens compiling starting simulator and navigation does not show all right so navigation obviously does not show because we have not linked it up with our window so go to app delegate so instead of feeding in main controller directly we're going to feed in our navigation into it so if I say UI application no uh, UI navigation controller now we create a new instance of that and we initialize with a root view controller so there are a few initialize methods so this is one of them so this time main controller that I'll use allocate dot initialize which is the same as dot new but this is more objective C idiomatic way of doing it 
All right, so now we have a uh, starting simulator and we have our navigation, that simple. So we have save and when we click this, we have left button clicked and right button clicked. So it works. So I'm going to make this a bit more navigationable. So when we click on the plus, we want to push in a new controller. Okay, so to do that, I'm going to add a new controller called the secondary controller for lack of uh, creative names. So I have secondary controller, I create a new class. So just as usual, this was subclass uh, UI, UI view controller. And we are going to do a few things here. Just say view did load uh, super. So I just want to set the background color to something um, different. So uh, if, if the background color is maybe um, red or something like that, so it's visually noticeable when we click on it. So just end this and end that. All right, so if we go into the main controller, main controller doesn't look right. Have I just overwritten everything? So if I uh, fix this, so this is what it's supposed to look like. And yep, secondary looks fine. Main controller looks fine. All right, so when we click on the right button, we want it to push in our secondary controller into our navigation stack. So we have access to our navigation controller through our main controller by saying self navigation controller, we say push view controller, and we want to push into it uh, the secondary controller instance. So we say secondary controller, and we create an instance of it by saying allocate initialize, just initialize is fine. And we have this animated uh, true, so it is animated in when it appears. So this is our UI navigation controller documentation. I've read it, so you should read it. And it has a few methods, and this is the method that we are using. Uh, method is defined like this in Objective C. So we've just um, done this in our own way using Ruby uh, to call onto it like that. Okay, so now that that is done, I will say rake, uh, build everything, and crossing the fingers that we've tapped everything properly as we should. So, so far so good. We click on plus to push and it blows up. And it blows up because undefined method, background color, spelling error in background, not spelled properly. So, we go into uh, secondary controller, self.view.background, replace this with a D. Okay, right to disk, rake, and run, and everything should be fine. Now I click on plus, and voila, we have a new controller animated in. So we have some kind of navigation going on. Okay, so this is the conclusion of this lesson. In the next lesson, we are going to look at some tab bar and how that works. So I will see you in the next lesson.